Hey, Ryan, you're just completing, I think, seven games in 11 days here. So are you a little bit surprised at the, the energy level that the team still has in this stretch? Uh, no, not really. I think we got a lot of young guys, which always helps, uh, you know, bring in the, bring in the energy and, and around the group. And, uh, you know, it's, it's actually been pretty good. And the energy's uh, been right where we need it to be. And, you know, especially when things are going a little rougher than you want, you need to bring that energy and, and keep positive us, you know, things can slide. So it's uh, nice to see. And uh, the young guys definitely contribute to that. Going into a season where you knew it was going to be compressed and you're kind of, <laughs> you know, the 56 games over a short amount of time. Do you just get into the mindset that there aren't dog days of the season and it's full, full on way you go? Yeah, I think when you, you're playing so many games back to back, uh, you know, and short period of time, things can go wrong quickly and things can go well very quickly. So uh, when things are going wrong, you have to find a way to stop them, you know, immediately and, and try to flush it. But, you know, it's easier said than done. I think in a week, sometimes you have four or five games and uh, that's crazy where, you, you know, you could go on a skid there for five games and feel like you're just uh, only been on a calendar week. So you got to try to nip things in the butt quicker than, than normal in a regular season. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a new learning experience for everybody, but, uh, you know, hopefully it gets back to normal next year. What are you seeing from Clark Bishop? Yeah, I played with Clark a little bit in Carolina. And I think uh, at the end of the day, it's just opportunity. That's how it is in this world. And I mean, any, any sport, any job you have, it's all about opportunity to show yourself and and produce and you know that's why trades are great i don't think he was you know getting the opportunities he wanted and and now he's got a chance to showcase himself a little bit and uh you know he's playing well he's a good good person good kid and uh you know everyone sees he's playing hard and he's easy to play with so um it's nice to see uh nice to see him getting his opportunity and doing well for it so i'm uh, sure he's very happy and warren post media yeah, I was just going to follow up on Clark Bishop as well. I mean, you two seem to have something going on there. Um, and yourself, four goals in eight games since coming back here. What do you chalk it up to? Is it, you said when you got back familiarity with things, do you, do you think that's it's as simple as that? Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. I think, like you said, uh, I've, uh, you know, been clicking pretty well with, with Bish and Wadi and, um, you know, they make it easy to create space for me out there. And then the other thing is opportunity too. I think I uh, wasn't getting the opportunity or the confidence in, uh, you know, the coaching staff uh, where I was before. And, and now, uh, you know, a couple of guys in, in this locker room believe in me and it, uh, it feels like home, feels comfortable. And, you know, it's just, uh, I feel like I'm playing the exact same way I was, just maybe a little bit more confidence. And, uh, you know, like you said, it's, it's comfortable being here, comfortable being in Ottawa, and it's a uh, easy routine for me because this is what I've known for you know seven, eight years with training camps and development camps and everything else. So I uh, feel like I'm playing the same way and um, just uh, having the confidence from the coach and and uh, you know playing well. Final one is Mark Broussard at Ladois. Yeah, Ryan, you, you were in an organization, an organization way back when uh, the Ham Hammond had his uh, hamburger run. Uh, I guess it's kind of a similar situation now with all the goalies going down one after the, after the other, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, I, our organization has done very well with the uh, goaltending in the pipeline. It's ridiculous. I think we have just guys coming in that uh, are playing so well and, um, you know, guys that aren't even in practice getting called up and coming right into games and stuff. So it's, it's, it's nice to see. I think a uh, uh, lot of, a lot of big, a lot of, a lot of athletic goalies that we have. And uh, I think in this league, everyone's fired up to get their opportunity, get their chance. And this year it's been great for a lot of people to uh, come up and prove themselves. So I know it's tough with injuries. You don't, you don't want to see that for people, but you know, that's how I got in this league. I, I caught a break with an injury of a guy on the left side and, and then I never looked back. So it's, it's great to see guys get an opportunity and uh, you know, you care about people and it's, it's, Sucks when you don't get that chance, and it's nice to see everyone getting their chance, and uh, it's nice uh, to have so many good goalies here. Remember in bingo who who, be, who ended up uh, after all the injuries? I think uh, Anderson was hurt, and Leonard, and then Hammond went up, and, and bingo it must have been a, a bit of a zoo. Yeah, I mean, we, we had that, you know, you have that some years. That's just the way things go. Guys get nicked up, and then some years you don't have any injuries, so um, guys need to step up, and and that's the beautiful thing about this league. Guys are 
preparing every single day that nobody sees, you know, they're working hard uh, behind the scenes and, and they're getting ready for those opportunities. That's why you got to can't slack mentally when you're not getting the chances you want. And, uh, you know, you just have to keep being prepared because I think our goalies are very prepared. We'll take one final one from Matt Tidcomb at senators.com. Hey, Ryan, uh, just talking about goaltenders, obviously the team playing the Anton Forsberg yesterday, who uh, you obviously must have played, or at least known around, obviously, in Carolina. Just kind of how will you maybe help him sell into the organization? And, you know, what does he kind of bring to the team too? Yeah, I uh, played with him for a little bit. Obviously, he's bounced around a little bit, but that, you know, that's that's good. When you get put on waivers and people are claiming you, that means you're, you're a heck of a player and people want you. So uh, it's tough to be a goalie in this league. I mean, you know, there's two jobs everywhere and, uh, you know, it's, it's tough. So um, probably not going to say much to him. He knows, he knows he's been around the league. He knows what he's doing. And uh, just nice to see, uh, like I said, those guys getting opportunities and, and hopefully they do well with it because uh, you never know what can happen.